Hi everyone, so I know it's been a long time since I filmed my last video. Um, I did actually film one um, recently, but it just never got a chance to upload it. So I just wanted to come on here just to chat about what I've been up to um, since my last video. Not really a ton of stuff has happened. We haven't been trying, um, like regarding to trying for a third baby. We haven't been trying, trying um, until last month. I kind of thought that I might be pregnant and I think I, I told you this where I thought I possibly had a chemical pregnancy but I'm not sure because I didn't really I don't feel like I got positive but I, I kind of I think I was at I was at that stage where I was literally like I thought I saw a line but I don't know and it's easy to kind of think you see a line when you really want to see a line so I think it was just a case of me seeing things and it wasn't really um, a positive test. So this time, um, for this month, we is our first month trying. Um, I may be late in today, I found out. I've been having pains and since um, Wednesday. Normally I, I get about four or five days of pain anyway. I get pain beforehand and before and after ovulation. So I have been getting some pain since Wednesday, which I thought is actually early. I'm very early. Um, very early ovulating this time um, normally it's day 18 between 18 to 20 and uh, sometimes it's tw day 23 sometimes it's day 16 sometimes it's day 18 um, and then once this year it's actually been day 14 um, and today I'm day f I think I'm day 14 or 15 I should really check before I start filming <laughs> to get my facts right but I think today I'm day 14 um, and it seems to be that I'm ovulating today, which is very early, because normally on my app, I've got the Clue app, it says I should be ovulating on Wednesday. Um, obviously, my body's just doing it earlier, which can happen. So, the only thing that I've done differently this month is I've been taking this fertility oil. It's by, if I can remember it, Bee Balm Ash. Bee Balm and Ash. I watched a YouTube video, and a lady had been taking this, um, oil that ha basically has I'll I'll do a link below of like not a link I'll um I'm not really sure how to do that but I'll um list the ingredients in the fertility oil and where you can get it from um but it basically helped I think it helped my ovulation come earlier I don't know it's literally brought my ovulation to day 14 which is really unheard of it's only happened once this entire year and we're in September now it's only you know before then it was like day 23 day 16 day 18 it was all over the place it now it seems to be consistent, well, it's only my first month using it, so, well, my first few days of using it, so I don't know if that is what caused it to come early, but that's the only different thing that I have done, so I thought that I would just mention it. Um, but I will um, insert a picture of the oil, I'll take a picture of it and I'll show you what it looks like, but I find it, I just put it on my abdomen once a day, it says do twice a day, but I've only been doing it once a day because I kind of... I don't know why, anything new, I just want to give it, I just want to see whether I have any adverse effects um, before I use it more, so uh, I haven't had any weird, like not very nice effects or anything, so I have been taking it every morning, just put it on my abdomen, just one like, it's a rollable, so you just like put it along your abdomen, and yeah, that's all I've been doing, and I'm ovulating at the moment, so... I'm not really sure if we're going to be trying this month. I mean, we said September, but because it's like August, September, early September, I'm not sure if my husband really wants to. I don't really know where his head's at, so we, we need to like discuss things more, so I'm not really sure about this month. But I feel like next month, definitely, definitely. If nothing happens this month, then def definitely. So I will, I will insert a picture of my relation test um, that I took today. I literally went, we've been shopping all day, and I literally, I ran out of them and, I'm, and I took one, okay, talking about this, this cycle's ovulation, I took a test on, um, I think it, the first test I took was Thursday, which was negative, but it was kind of getting darker, because when it's definitely negative, negative, it's always like a stark white, there's nothing, there's no line, and then it gets darker as the closer I get to ovulation, so this month, it, it, um, on Thursday, it was light, Friday I took another one, which was yesterday, Today's Saturday. So Friday I took another one and it was darker than the previous one. Um, and part of the line was like really dark, but then most of it was light, if you know what I mean. Um, so I kind of count that as obviously it's getting closer and closer. And then today 
I, I've run out of tests. I was using the clear blue digital test, but I wasn't using the digital like thing you put it in. I was only using the strip. Um, I had them basically, for, I've had them for three years. I'm not even sure if they're still in date, but um, I had them in the drawer and I don't really like digitals because I don't like the, the like yes or no. It's like definitely not. Or I like seeing the lines and seeing the progression. That's just my personal opinion. So I've just been using the line and yeah, it was negative again, but it was a slightly dark. I could tell, I could definitely tell that it was getting darker. And then, yeah, today we went shopping all day. I was, um, I decided to see if I can go in boots, to see if I can pick up some more tests. And yeah. <laughs> He's just drank his bottle, I'm not like filming, I'm not feeding my son, he's finished the bottle. But um, yeah, so I picked some up from Boots for £5, pound, um, pack of five. I don't need to take any more this month obviously because it's definite positive, it's like the peak day, like the peak day. And no normally, in my experience, peak days are the day that I overlay, that happened with my son and the dates all max, all, um, the day that I overlay with my son matched up to his due date, so the day I conceived, so... I definitely know from my experience that the peak day where it's like the darkest ever, like darker than the control line, is the day that I actually overlake. So I'm, I think it's today. I've been having not as bad pain. Yesterday was the worst. I had to take two lots of painkillers because it was just really hurting. But today is a bit better, but it's kind of still hurting both sides. I get it both sides. Um, and it's like the cramping, it's not like a sharp pain. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to document um i really wanted to document my ovulation and any tests that i do take um, just so that i can look back on them and it's really nice to see the progression and everything like that so yeah i will be uploading more videos um possibly like how i'm feeling i don't really want to um I don't really want to dwell on how I'm feeling the two week wait because the past two months, as you know from my previous video, I've been very stressed with tests, testing too much and stuff like that. Even though we haven't been trying, I've still been kind of a bit obsessive about it. So I don't want to dwell on it. I just want to kind of live my life and see what happens. And if it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then, you know, we've got next month and I've got that the oil to use. So if it doesn't happen this month, then we'll try next month we're not the type of couple to try every single day like you hear people talk about you know every every day in the fertile period or every other day in the fertile period it doesn't work for us at all we have two kids already we just we don't have the ability to do every single day or every other day that is too much it just wouldn't work it wouldn't work and then i wouldn't get pregnant because it just wouldn't work because it's too frequent um, and then our situation that just doesn't work for us so we've literally been trying twice a week um, this time it's, it's only once during the fertile period because by the time we do it next it's going to be when I'm not overlaying anymore so I don't know but we're trying to do it from as stress, uh, stressless as possible um, and this is the way that's going to happen um, I know we're not maximising our chances because if we were, we would be like yesterday and today. But we did the did yesterday night and um, the last time was Monday. Um, so yeah, not maximising, I guess it's the day before, so that is maximising it in my, in my book. With my son, I only, we only did it once during my fertile period on the day of revelation and I got pregnant with him. Obviously, he's here. Um, my daughter was different. We had, we were a new couple. We wanted to be had to have babies, and we basically didn't know when I overlaid. We just did it whenever we wanted, which was quite frequently. <laughs> TMI. But when you're in, we it was only because we wanted to, not because we were trying. If you know what I mean. 